So I'm back today with another review. The last time I did a bag review, I did it on a Marc Jacobs little Yukita bag in the color cement. I'll post the link below so if you're interested in looking at that review, you can. But um, I've been on a hunt for a black everyday bag and this bag here came, uh, went on sale and I finally took the plunge and ordered it. It is a Diana Von Furzenberg Sutra bag and it retails for $425, but it went on sale on um, Shopbox for $300. So I decided why not let's give it a try and see how um, I like it. Here it is. This is it. Um, you know I have to have my single shoulder strap. I'm a big fan of the single shoulder because with the double shoulder I'm always um, annoyed when one of the strap falls off my shoulder. So this one has a nice shoulder strap and there's still plenty of room here for my arm to move around. And um, it has the longer strap here, which is another feature, must have feature for an everyday bag for me because I need my hands to be free. So you can wear it like this, or you can wear it cross body. Um, the strap's a little thinner. This, I, I wish that this could have been a little bit wider because for such a big bag, when you put something in it, when you put your things in it, it gets heavy and the strap kind of digs into the shoulder when it's, um, it, it, when it's so thin, you know, it's not too thin, it's pretty good, but like a, maybe another quarter of an inch or even one eighth of an inch would have been ideal. And um, it's a nice pebble leather, which is another feature that I look for in an everyday bag because the pebble leather is just tougher and it wears a lot better for everyday use. It's not gonna get scrapped or scratched easily. And actually the longer you have it and use it, the better it looks because it just gets softer and better looking with wear. This one's still a little hard as you can tell because it's brand new. Um, but so in the back, there's a, a pocket here and you can easily, you know, maybe slip your phone back here for easy access. And in the front, there's this buckle and it's gold hardware. And how you open the bag is, see this is the part I don't like when I have to mess around with the hardware just to get into my bag. But you gotta pull on this, and I can see this down the line being a problem because there's a spring in this and you know, if you use it every day and it might, the spring might break and I don't like that part about it and so it lifts up and here you have the opening with a magnetic where is it? yeah there's a magnetic snap right here and then that allows me to open it up and um, it definitely is big enough for everyday essentials it measures 14 by 10 and the diana the um width of the bag is six and a half inches. So for a petite person like myself, I'm only five feet tall, um, I'm not, uh, this bag is not going to work for me because the width of it, I've decided, is too wide for me. So if you see, look at the width of the bag compared to the width of my body. It just overwhelms my figure and it's too big for me. I think somebody my size, or personally for, for me, I would go for like no more than a four inch width for, for someone as petite as me. But if you're taller, this width might really work well for you. And it's, it's a nice size for every day and it's a classic style 
and it's it's not too trendy where it's gonna go out style you know in a year or two I think you can carry this around and have it for the next five years and it would do fine and it's not too flashy and this buckle just has a nice touch to it and um, overall nice bag but it's not a keeper for me unfortunately because of the size um, so that is my verdict on this I will be sending it back and my search continues on for a black everyday handbag and uh, please leave comments and subscribe and like the video and I will see you next time. Bye.